Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to understand the uh, how CTL kills the target cell. This is the another uh, part of cell mediated cytolysis. In the first part, I have discussed about the uh, generation of CTL from the CTLS. So let's start with this uh, how CTL kills the target cell. Okay, as we know, the CTL that is the uh, Cytotoxin T lymphocyte is also known as the killer T cell. Okay, so uh, CTL can kill target cell. Target cell that means it is the uh, macrophages or we can say the antigen present in cell. Okay, that kill, uh, CTL kills uh, target cell in two major ways. So the uh, first, it is the uh, either. Okay, via the directional release of granule contents, granzyme and perforin. Granzyme that is the protease enzyme. And second, via FAS, FAL, membrane signaling interaction with the target cell. So, this is the both process induce the target cell to undergo apoptosis, typically within the few hours of contact with the cytotoxic T cell. Now, the CTL can kill a target cell by releasing of granules. Okay, this mechanism uh, it is called uh, kiss of death. Okay. Why it called the kiss of death? Because the CTL that is the attacking cell binds to the target cell and forms cell cell conjugate. Okay, and even so intimate that is uh, very closer to each other, and that uh, that is uh, sometimes referred to as the kiss of death. Now the stages in CTL mediated killing of target cell. So the first stage uh, it is the cell conjugate. Okay, you can say the conjugation, conjugate formation. Right. So in this uh, stage, the TCL receptor on a CTL okay interact with processed uh, antigen class one molecules on appropriate target cell. Okay, target cell either dendritic macrophages of B cell and leading to formation of CTL target cell conjugation. Okay. And that leads to the, the this is the conjugation. Right here. CTL target cell conjugation. In this process, they require the energy and its process a process based on the uh, calcium dependent. Now the uh, once they conjugate the uh, CTL cytoplasmic rearrangement. Okay. So the uh, mito, uh, microtubules organized center, which is uh, polarized to the site of interaction here, okay, here it is a center, and then it polarized to the uh, interaction with the target and CTL cell. Uh, this re, uh, reposition of uh, Golgi stick and granules, okay, here you can see the here and here the okay, Golgi stick. Reposition where the uh, granules contains okay, and then once the reposition uh, reposition of Golgi stacks and granules toward the uh, point of contact with the target cell here, and then proceed the CTL granule exocytosis process. So the uh, CTL cell they release the granules okay, um, their uh, space between the uh, target cell and CTL. And these granules uh, that contain the granzyme and perforin. Okay, once they re release the granules, then the uh, dissociation. Okay, so CTL, uh, CTL is recycled further and target cell dies by the apoptosis. Okay, CTL further recycling. Some of the uh, MCQ based question. So first. What is the primary function of cytotoxic T lymphocytes? Okay, so it is the uh, antibody production, phagocytosis, cell killing, and cytokine secretion. Now the second is the uh, which of the following is crucial step in the activation of CTL? Antigen recognition, complement activation, B cell differentiation, and macrophage phagocytosis. Third, which type of cell present antigen to CTL? During the immune response, helper T cells, memory B cells, antigen present cells, and natural killer cells. So this is the three tire, three uh, MCQ based question. Okay, 
provide the answer in the comment section and this is the all about today's video uh, thank you for watching